Hey YouTube, it's Jessica. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pierce your conch. Things you will need is dial soap or some type of antibacterial soap, gloves to put on your hands, uh, alcohol prep pad, so just basically an alcohol swab, a paper towel, or not paper towel, a Kleenex, a ballpoint pen or marker, a barbell, and a 14 gauge or 16 gauge piercing needle depending on what you're putting in it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wash your hands, which I've already done, and then you're going to want to put, want to put the gloves on. having trouble getting these on. These are like actual medical gloves, so it doesn't matter what kind of gloves you use. It's just, uh, my mom was really sick and we had a in-care, or an in-house nurse. So I have all these supplies still. And that's where I got the alcohol swabs from too. <coughs> and then you are going to and then you're going to want to take your uh, alcohol prep pad and if you don't have one of these you can just take like uh, rubbing alcohol and swab it on the spot of where you're going to be piercing. I don't claim to be a professional by the way so don't be commenting on this video saying I'm doing things wrong and stuff like that. Um, I have pierced myself before so I do have an idea of what I'm doing. Oh, it's dripping down my face a bit. So once you're done that, you're going to wait, want to take your ballpoint pen or marker and mark where you're going to do your piercing. So I've already marked mine. It is the top mark. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, you just want to take your pen or, or marker and just dot it on your ear like that. Or just like, so you're just going to want to dab it. So once you're done marking it, you're going to want to sterilize your barbell if you didn't buy a sterilized one. Um, I didn't buy a sterilized one because I have many barbells laying around that I don't need. Or don't need, I didn't mean to say that, I meant don't use. So what you're going to take is you're going to do take your barbell, you're going to take dial soap and squirt it in your hand like this. Then you're going to rub it in between your fingers, or well your hands to make sure it's all sterilized, like this. So once there's soap lathered all over it, do this for about a minute, and then you're just gonna rinse it off. So now that the barbell's clean, you can unscrew it and make sure one ball is off. Then you can just put that on your Kleenex with the other ball. And you are going to take your 14 gauge or 16 gauge needle and open it. They're very sharp. I will put a link below of where I got mine. Um, mine is gas sterilized. And then you're going to put it on the dot. And push it through. And there it's done right through to the back. Not painful at all. So that's how you pierce it and then I will show you how to put the barbell in. So the barbell is going to fit inside the piercing needle if you use the right size. And then you're just going to slip it through. This part's a bit hard, you want to do it slowly because it's just freshly pierced skin.
There's a bit of blood. That's normal because you're just doing a fresh piercing. And then you're going to want to take the ball and screw it on. I don't think I'll be able to show this really, so it's kind of self-explanatory. Mm, where's the pull? So once you get it on, I'm not going to show it getting the barbell back on because it's kind of hard. Um, I will include pictures after of the piercing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.